What comes to mind when you hear those three letters, GMO? Mutant animals? Super weeds? Put simply, a genetically modified organism it is, what, is one that has acquired one or more genes by artificial means. Opponents to the genetic modification of crops believe that pollen movement by wind and insects will cause gene flow from GM crops to non-GM crops and related species of weeds, resulting in gene genetic pollution of the environment. Brassica napus, or commonly known as canola, is grown widely throughout the world for edible oil and seed meal used for animal feed. A study conducted by Mary Riger in 2002 examined the pollen-mediated movement of herbicide resistance between commercial canola fields. Canola genetically modified for herbicide resistance was first grown commercially in Australia in 2000. The aim of this experiment was to quantify the gene flow that occurs between herbicide resistant canola and conventional canola located in nearby fields. 63 fields of conventional canola growing near genetically modified herbicide resistant canola across New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia were chosen for the study. They varied from 25 to 100 hectares in size and represented a wide range of environments. At least 100,000 seeds were taken from three locations in each of the 63 fields. The samples were taken parallel to the source field on the left, middle and right hand sides of the sink fields. These seeds, along with herbicide resistant and susceptible controls, were planted in an irrigated field. The plants were sprayed with a lethal dose of herbicide to determine if gene transfer by pollen had taken place. Samples from 40 of the 63 fields showed herbicide resistance. This graph here shows the percentage of herbicide resistant plants in conventional varieties in relation to distance from the source field. Each dot represents a field. The vast majority of samples displayed a frequency of less than 0.03%. It can be seen that a small number of fields had a frequency greater than 0.03%. It is interesting to note that similar levels of herbicide resistance were detected in sink fields next to the source fields and, and ones that are up to three kilometres away. The results of this study show that cross-pollination and therefore the transfer of herbicide resistant genes does occur between fields. Whilst the frequency of cross-pollination is rather low, it does occur over substantial distance. It can be stated, based on these results, that gene flow between herbicide resistant and conventional varieties of canola will be considerably less than 1%.